Well, joining me now from Shenzhen, China, is James Sung. He's a tech investor and chief strategist at Zoka Strategic Marketing, a Chinese-American firm. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Of course. Now, five years ago, the live streaming industry didn't even exist. What do you account for its meteoric rise in China? Well, I mean, as we can see, China, of course, borrowed a lot of business ideas from the West. Um, you know, live streaming, of, uh, it, it was popular with, uh, started with Periscope first, but they really didn't, uh, they really didn't do any e-commerce on it. It was just a bunch of teenagers dancing or whatever. And, uh, but China really took this idea and, uh, they put the twist of e-commerce on it and, uh, it's become wildly successful, uh, with, uh, you know, uh, with the live streaming platforms first like Kwaiso uh, or Douyin, but then uh, all the major uh, e-commerce platforms also got on board, like JD and Taobao. So they have special sections now where you can live stream. Um, and of course, you know, me being this middle-aged guy, it, it, live streaming didn't really appeal to me at first. Mm. Uh, but then, you know, when I, when I started getting on some of these live streams, it was almost a little addicting because first of all, on the live streams, you get these special sale prices and then uh, you know it's uh, and then you can ask questions and surprisingly, I you know it's faster than customer service. I mean you get the answers right away, so uh, it's no surprise that you know China is now leading the way with live streaming e-commerce. Right. Also, we heard a lot of Chinese marketing firms now trying to reach global audiences, all these different techniques, but still this whole industry is centered in china can you see it being duplicated in other countries where they're trying to just sell things to their own audiences and cut away china yeah i mean it's there's a lot of smart reasons uh for getting into live streaming uh i mean first of all when i walk around Shenzhen, i mean just in regular normal electronic stores you can see really professional live streaming equipment on on sale so it just shows you that, you know, the regular consumer is thinking about live streaming because this is really something that uh, anyone can do. And uh, if, you, if you look at the, the way that um, all, the, all the foreign platforms like Facebook, uh, live streaming, uh, prioritize live streaming, um, you know, they have special algorithms where if you're live streaming, it pops up right away on someone else's uh, device. Uh, so it, it makes a lot of sense for all the brands to start investing into uh, live streaming. And, you know, everyone is, uh, is, is really paying a lot of attention to this. I see all the major brands like uh, Anchor, Alki, these uh, famous Shenzhen brands that are, uh, are creating official uh, live streaming, uh, you know, shops within their websites. Um, the, it's really, it's really, uh, it's really the new trend now. I mean, we can see with uh, with Canton Fair um, in in October, uh, they 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 made the first uh, first live e-commerce store, but also, uh, but but also, uh, Canton Fair was uh, my my baby's crying in the back. Oh no, sorry. Right. sorry. <laughs> uh, but the. So with, with Canton Fair, it was uh, you saw a, a huge, a huge amount of uh, networking going on with live streaming. So each booth had its own uh, had its own live streaming um, had its own live stream. Right. So we, we were looking at thousands of live streams at the same time. So it was really actually uh, very successful. And now all the all the foreign uh, platforms uh, are using it. So uh, it's popular. James, very quickly, I mean, we keep talking about how we've seen a boom during the coronavirus pandemic, but, you know, what's the long-term forecast for this trend? Once people are out, you know, able to get out of their homes again, will they still be watching live channels of influencers? Well, it's, it's hard to say, you know, because these trends, they come and go, but I have a feeling that um, it, it's... Everybody now is is so in tune with uh, with this. Uh, you know, I, I talk to my friends now more 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 um, more on video chat than ever. Um, I think uh, you know uh, even even my video now that's streaming to you is with a bunch of professional live streaming equipment that's here. Mm -hmm. I don't see I don't see myself packing you know the the equipment away uh, when the pandemic's over. So I think uh, I think these trends are here to stay.